Live from somewhere in Brooklyn. It's the worst vacation ever. With your host, Giselle Sempualtecal. Hello, and welcome to the worst vacation ever. I'm your host, Giselle Sempualteca. We have a great show for you tonight, and joining us later is the hilarious Nerosha Greg. But first, how is everyone enjoying their quarantine? Oh, on the brink of losing it, I see. Well, that seems about right at this point, so let's just take a look at some of the latest updates on coronavirus. This week, Governor Cuomo announced he will be extending New York's stay-at-home order until June 13th. For New Yorkers, it felt like when a Zoom meeting is about to end, but someone decides to ask a question. Like, oh, oh, so close. Memorial Day weekend is coming up, but if you were hoping to start working on your summer tan, you're out of luck. Mayor de Blasio announced the city is just not ready to open beaches. Up next, now is Greg will be joining us, and we have a special message for the class of 2020. But first, a message from our sponsors. Lysol, bringing families together since 19 who gives a shit. Helping you clean those hard to reach places the kids may have stained. But who says Lysol should just be for the kids? Since our fearless leader suggested that disinfectants may cure COVID-19, we think it's time to have a little bit of fun. So open that cupboard, find your favorite bottle of Chardonnay and start mixing. Just because you're rolling the dice on a cure that was suggested by a non-medical professional doesn't mean you can't also be the life of the party. Lysol, it definitely won't cure coronavirus, you dumb dumb. Hey, I was being sarcastic. Welcome back. Now I know this is the worst vacation ever, but here to make you laugh and slightly judge you, everyone please welcome Nyosha Greg. Hi everyone, hi Giselle, how are you? Hi Nyosha, thanks so much for coming on the show. How are you doing? Well, honestly, I've been in quarantine for two months with my family and I have not blown through our entire stock of brandy alcohol yet. So I guess that qualifies as doing good, right? Hey, you're doing better than me. So I'm sure you've heard about de Blasio's recent decision to keep beaches closed for Memorial Day. What are your thoughts on that? Honestly, I'm sad. I bought so many cute swimsuits. I was so looking forward to having a hot girl summer. But now it just looks like I will be mimicking my cats and trying to tan by laying on my windowsill in front of the sun. So they have a new neighbor in town. But hey, we can't just look at the negatives because tonight we want to celebrate all the hardworking students who are graduating this week. That's right. And because of this whole corona business, you guys did not get the proper graduation that you deserve. But to show you just how much you inspire us, Nyosha and I have created a little something that we hope you'll love. Well, class of 2020, you've officially made it down the aisle of your living room. But fear not, because whether you're walking across the stage or in your basement, you still made it. Now, I know this isn't the ceremony you envisioned. I mean, you probably thought you'd be on the campus lawn, surrounded by friends, taking selfies, uploading an hour-long Instagram story. But here we are, stuck at home, celebrating with those who just graduated with their bachelors, their masters, PhDs and those who are now certified at home bartenders. And because of coronavirus, you're probably worried about your future, but I'm here to tell you your future is bright. I mean, maybe you'll go on to become doctors, lawyers, engineers, or the next TikTok star, but it'll be bright nonetheless. Things may seem a little scary right now, but don't worry, your hard work is not in vain. While the future is still unknown, Natasha Benningfield said it best, it's still unwritten and you still get to write it. So sign off from your final Zoom class, move your tassel from right to left, and let the rest of your life begin. Sometime mid-June. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. I want to thank Niosha Greg, and until next time, remember to stay inside and stay safe. Bye.